Okay, today I want to talk about categories in Joomla. If we write content in Joomla, it's usually in the form of an article. And an article, when, when we write those, we have to decide which category uh, an article belongs to. And that's usually a one-to-many relationship in a sense that an article belongs to one specific category, but a category can have many articles in there. Why would we want to use uh, categories? Uh, one reason is that there are menus that we can create and we can have menus that link to a specific category. So that could be a, a category block or a category list. But we don't have to use those um, those menu items linked to categories. We could also have a, a menu item that links directly to an article if we wanted to. But usually it makes sense to link to a specific category. So for argument's sake, if our if our website is about gardening, uh, then we could have one category for flowers. Uh, categories. In our example, we, we've, we've got flowers. And I don't know, we could have... Um, I don't know, we could have a subcategory called tulips and one called roses. And uh, you could then go break this down even further. Under roses, we could have that and white roses. So we, we could have a pattern category, uh, child categories, and yeah, we could go down even further. And on the same level as flowers, we could have uh, trees, for example, uh, needle trees, and yeah, leaf trees, or whatever else you would want. So uh, grouping articles in categories makes it easy to find your articles, and it also helps to create menu items that link directly to those categories that you are using. But the categories you create, they don't have to be directly linked to the menus. Your menu structure can be very independent of your category structure. So just because you have uh, tulips and roses as a category doesn't mean that you need menus that link to those different categories. You can if you want to, but you don't have to.